is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some more epic ass reveals from new york toy fair but today guys we do not have wwe action figure reviews no ladies and gentlemen you guys know that we did have the announcement on aew dynamite this past wednesday night that we are officially getting aew all elite wrestling action figures for our wrestling figure collections and today we had some badass reveals that i'm super excited to get into with you guys so let's go ahead and pull those hoses right up because it is going to be a damn good day ladies and gentlemen presenting to you from wicked cool toys and jazzwares coming together to create our figures please stop messaging me thank you Pulling up on the screen, guys, we have the first official John Moxley AEW action figure. Would you look at this figure right here, guys? I freaking love this figure. I think it looks so good. I love the pants. I like the way the torso looks. I think it's it's kind of weird how like AEW figures sort of have like more. It seems like everybody has their own specific torso. I'm sure that's not the case. It just kind of looks that way. I don't feel like I'm looking at the same torso over and over. I don't know what that is. It's probably just the way the, the style is, you know. But this looks great. The the way they have the waist pivot, the double jointed arms is obviously something that we've been getting used to with the AEW figure since they were announced. The head sculpt on this Moxley looks absolutely incredible. It reminds me a lot of BEW's and uh, Mad Reaper's work together when they created theirs and it looks so good man. I, I really love this head sculpt. I love the entrance vest that we got going on. It looks like it's going to be rubber. Not a big deal to me. Love that we got the mocks going on. You can see the box a little bit in the background. We are going to cover the packaging in this video. I will get into it in more detail for you guys, but this figure is officially a part of Series 2 of the Unrivaled Collection, so the Unrivaled Collection Series 1 is already up for pre-order, and we're going to take a look at that series as well, just like we did the other day. We do have better images of those figures. We have all the accessories that we're going to be getting. We have some other news about them, but John Moxley, man, it looks so good, man. This Dean Ambrose figure, it looks great. This Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, you guys know what I mean. We've had so many Dean Ambroses in the, fa in the past. We finally have a John Moxley here for AEW. Moving on to another figure figure in Series 2, guys, is Adam Hangman Page, or Hangman Adam Page, whatever you want to call him. Another figure that looks freaking fantastic. I will say the feet look a little bit clowny to me. I don't know what that is. It just looks a little bit clowny. But again, you have the bandana, you have the noose, you have the entrance vest, you have knee pads and everything going on. Really epic stuff again, and I am freaking hyped, man. I think this Adam Hangman page looks great. We don't have a full look at the head sculpt, but just from the eyes up or the nose up, whatever you want to call that, it looks great. I think it looks just like Hangman page, and uh, I can't wait for Series 3, man. I mean, Series 2 is a banger. Wait till you guys see the rest of the set, dude. It's, it's freaking sick, but you got the thigh cut there. Looks really strong. I don't think it's as good as John Moxley, but I still think it's a really good Hangman Page figure right here. But that's not all we have for Series 2, guys. Moving along, we do also have Dustin Rhodes right here which looks great. He has his sleeve tattoos. He has his red and black attire. He's got the half face paint on there, and this looks great as well. I think they nailed it. I think it looks just like Dustin Rhodes. You have his long AF legs that he's got going on. Specific torso right there, which you love to see. He's even got like the turtleneck style going on right there, and it looks great, man. I think this looks great. Looks just like Dustin. I mean, I don't know what else you could want out of a Dustin figure. You got the white wrist tape in there. And I think this flows very well into Series 2. I think it's a great addition right there to the AEW roster for our action figure collections. Again, this is Unrivaled Series number 2. We are going to take another look at Unrivaled Series 1 that is up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles right now, which you guys can go pre-order. But let's move on to a tag team that we have, guys. We have the Lucha Bros right here from AEW. We have... Pentagon and Phoenix right here looking great. I love these figures. It looks like they have all of their tattoo deco, dec, de, deco, not deco, deco. And uh, Pentagon is going to come with two interchangeable head sculpts. You got the tongue out. You got the regular face paint. Uh, just a great looking attire, man. These figures look so damn good. I know people are going to be hyped about our freaking Lucha Bro figures right there. They they look so good, man. I think the sculpt looks great. I love what we got going on with the kick pads. I love the gold that we got on Phoenix. Uh, we get interchangeable hands with these. I mean, dude, the, these are sick. I think Phoenix also comes with an interchangeable head sculpt. He has his mouth open head sculpt, and then he has a regular head sculpt. If I can find the photo, I will definitely plug it in there. But it's just like the, the Pentagon where it's like, you know, he has his tongue out face, and then he has his regular sculpt where it's just a straight face there. And I think both of these look damn good, man. You got the Lucha Bros in the house, along with Adam Hangman Page, along with Dustin Rhodes, along with John Moxley. And the final figure in set number two, guys, is going to be none other than MJF, ladies and gentlemen. MJF right here 
looking like a freaking baller. We got Maxwell Jacob Friedman in the house with his AEW microphone. A cloth scarf, which looks fantastic. I love the, the body sculpt that we got on here. And uh, we got we got a lot of great things going on, man. I, I love the boots right here. You got the orange on the tights. Uh, just a really strong MJF. I think it looks just like him. And if you guys are wondering, that neck peg right there actually will be interchangeable with WWE figures because that is a uh, that that right there, the articulation on that head right there is going to be able to look all the way down and all the way up. I know that because that is a Marvel Legends style neck peg under there, and he will be able to look all the way down and all the way up. And it's going to be great. They're going to be really easy to interchange. I, I highly doubt that you'll really need much heat. I don't think you'll need much heat at all because that peg right there is down in that hoe. You're, it's going to be really hard to snap a neck peg with the way they styled that. That's how Marvel Legends are done. Very nicely tooled right there by the uh, the companies right here involved with Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares. Very, very nice. But pulling up the full uh, thing on screen so you guys can see the full wave. Um, these look great, man. Series 2 is already knocking it out of the park. We are going to take another look at Series 1 so you guys can see. But these were the big-time reveals. Like We already knew you know, a couple days ago, yesterday, we, we kind of already knew about the AEW figures. This is Series number 2, and it's a badass series, man. I think that this is so excellent, dude. I, I cannot wait. But we also have some epic series reveals from Series number 1 that we're going to get into. But let's go ahead and take a look at the next thing, which is up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com, guys. Use the promo code md Toys to go pick up Series 1, go pre-order Series 1, and include in that set so you guys don't miss out on this. We have the ringside exclusive AEW Wicked Cool Toys Elite Scale or Unrivaled Scale Ring here with a exclusive ringside exclusive Kenny Omega figure in his green and black attire that is kind of opposite of his pink attire. So you have the green, lime green here on the screen, and this figure looks badass. It looks like he has even more blonde hair. I don't know if it's going to be a completely different sculpt. It probably will be a tad bit different. He'll probably have a better painted beard, possibly, and he'll have more detail on the hair. But this is a ringside exclusive Kenny Omega unrivaled figure, and then you have the AEW ring to pair with that. So they come in a box set, and you can pre-order that right now on Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. But this is an epic Kenny Omega. Omega figure to go with our already Series 1 Kenny Omega, and the ring is going to be badass as well. And we also have a picture of the ring with figures inside that we're going to get into, but this Kenny Omega looks badass. I think it's sick as hell. I personally like the pink attire better, but this one's still badass, and I'm going to grab this ring because this is this is the shit, man. This is the shit you like to see. I'm going to be collecting the hell out of these Kenny Omega and AEW figures, so these look great. Moving along, guys, we do have two different versions of Cody. Now, we did see that we have the regular version, which is the blue and gold and, uh, you know, the other color gold or color gold, color blue that we saw from a few days ago with his weight belt and everything. Not only are we getting that Cody, but there's going to be this other Cody that is in his gold, red, and blue attire. I think this is from his, his match with Dustin was the blue and gold one. And then you have the red and gold one, which I cannot remember what match that's from. I think that's when he tag teamed with Dustin, I think, and took on, uh, the Lucha Bros, was it? Or was it the Young Bucks? I can't freaking remember, man. It's off the top of my head. Um, or maybe, I, I don't know. My mind's going blank right now. But uh, you're going to have two different versions. You have the regular version, and then you have the Chase variant and the gold pants. And the one in the all gold pants with the red boots is going to be a 1 out of 500 exclusive and so I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if they're going to ship them out to stores. I don't know if that's going to be only online. But it looks like they're going to be doing a lot of stuff that Jax used to do with these figures where it's going to be like a 1 of 1,000, a 1 of 500, and stuff like that. So that is going to be something to take note of. Going to probably be pretty difficult to track down. So if that's something you want to look at, you may want to go try to pre-order as much as you can from these lines because I really don't know how that's going to work out. But uh, bringing up another photo of the Cody, guys, you will see here that he also is going to include his entrance coat or his entrance vest style shirt there. And that looks badass, man. It looks really good. It fits the figure very tightly. It looks like it sits on the figure great. So that's another addition right there. I think these Cody figures look just so badass, man. I'm so hyped for these figures. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. I hope they live up to the hype of just the way they look. So these look great, man. You got the Cody Series 1 with the Chase variant and you have the entrance shirt right there. Moving on, guys. We do have pictures, new pictures of the Young Bucks. And in these Young Bucks figures from Series 1, 
Again, these are up for pre-order. Cody, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, the Young Bucks, and Brandy, all up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. Use that promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. These Young Buck figures are going to come with cloth jackets, entrance jackets for their figures, man. They have the YB on there. You got the tassels flowing off. You got the white jackets on there. I can't remember what they say on the back. They probably say Young Bucks or, or something on the back of them, I'm sure. But it does look like these are still, I feel like the Young Bucks are still prototypes. I feel like they're going to add thigh cut. Hopefully they add thigh cut to these guys because they do not have thigh cut just yet. So hopefully that is something that they add to the figures. But the cloth jackets look insane. I really do like both of these. I think Matt is a little bit stronger with its head skull, but I still think the Nick is pretty damn badass. I like I like all the figures that they've shown off. I think are really, really great. So we, do, we are going to get interchangeable uh, cloth jackets with these Young Buck figures. You got the double jointed arms there, the white attire. Just badass. All we got to do is add thigh cut because it doesn't look like these prototypes have thigh cut just yet, but I guess we'll have to see on that. Moving along, guys, we do have more images of Kenny Omega. We have one in the corner of the ring here, and he's still looking so good, dude. I, I freaking think he looks so mean, looking so mean, looking so clean here with his torso and everything. I love the pink going on on the attire. And we are going to get his entrance jacket with his little forearm shiver on the right arm from that anime inspiration for his gear, and it is going to be rubber. But I think it looks really badass here. I, I, I hate rubber accessories. I'm going to keep it the same all across. I don't care if it's Wicked Cool Toys making it. I don't care if it's Mattel making it. It. I don't care if I make it in my backyard. I'm not big on rubber accessories, guys, so that's not something that I will enjoy. I do like, though, that, uh, you know, the one arm is removed because that's accurate, and I like that they included it anyway. You know, that's cool. Uh, hopefully we get some cloth accessories in the future. I know that jacket would have been pretty much impossible to do in cloth, but I'm hyped for the Kenny Omega figure anyway. Looks badass, and I'm psyched for it. So not only do we have Kenny Omega without the coat, we have it in the coat, and then we also have a picture of Brandy right here. If anybody wants to see that, you get a little idea of the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer looks a little bit oversized in my personal opinion, but again, reiterating the fact that all of these women figures will have thigh cut, all of them will have double jointed knees, all of them will have double jointed arms, interchangeable hands, really big stuff. Can't wait to see what they get for future figures. Uh, really want to see it Riho made. Really want to see, you know, Nyla Rose. I want to see Britt Baker. I want to see more women's figures made so you can get that women's division up, pair them with the WWE figures. I think that'd be really sick. So moving on, guys, we are not done here. We have some more things to showcase from Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys here with the AEW action figures. We have Chris Jericho. Now, you're going to see two different Chris Jerichos on your screen, guys. We have the one on the left, which is going to be the rubber jacket, and then you have with the cloth uh, scarf and the hat, and then on the right side, you're going to get one that has a inner circle t-shirt, AEW championship, and AEW microphone. Now, this Chris Jericho on the right with the AEW championship, I believe, is going to be a one out of a thousand. So, there's only going to be a thousand of them made, apparently, so that is going to be a big deal. Um, I guess they're going to release an AEW championship later on down the line. Maybe they'll do like an accessories pack. I'm not sure how they're going to do that, but that does is going to be very, very hard to track down that AEW championship when you have you know only a thousand made or 500 made or whatever. I do like the rarity of it, but that's going to be pretty crazy. I don't know if they're going to push it out to retail and you know whoever finds it finds it. But scalpers are definitely going to have a world with that one. They're going to freaking buy that hoe and they're going to sell that hoe for probably a buttload of money. But both Jerichos look fantastic regardless. You do have the rubber jacket, unfortunately. But I do like the Inner Circle t-shirt. The AEW Championship looks great. I love all the accessories we've been getting with these lines. And uh, overall, I just really, really enjoy everything that we've seen so far from these AEW figures. Good. Moving on, guys, we are going to also take a look at the ring right here. So you guys can see the ring compared to the figures. And it looks like, to me, they're going to be very, very close to WWE Elite scale. Now, they may be a little bit taller. Maybe. It's really hard to tell right here, but it looks like they're going to be very, very similar to the same style. It looks like they're going to be really, really close. And if they're not the same, they're going to be very damn close. So uh, hopefully that is the case. I think the ring looks great. I've owned this ring before. I'm sure it's just a re-release with the AEW moniker on the skirt, on the, on the ring canvas. And I'm sure that's the case, but... I'm definitely probably going to be tracking down the ringside exclusive ring with the Kenny Omega figure. I hate they don't have the figure on display right here with the ring, but I guess it's not done quite yet due to deco and stuff like that. But not only that, guys, we do also have the basic ring, and you guys can see the Chris Jericho in the ring there. You have the pink Kenny Omega, and then you have the uh, Chase variant Rhodes there. 
in the corner, and that's the basic version of the ring. You guys know we get tons of, you know, basic rings with uh, WWE figures all the time. We've seen so many different basic WWE figures uh, for the basic rings in the past. So you have the Elite Scale Ring or the Unrivaled Scale Ring, and then you have the, uh, I don't, I guess we didn't see any basic style lines today, so maybe they'll release that down the line, or maybe they're not going to do a basic waves. I guess we'll just have to see. But there is that. We are also getting a toy or, you know, like, uh, k kid version of the AEW Championship with plastic. And I think this looks great, dude. It looks just like it. Um, if I was a kid, I would definitely have bought this shit. It looks so good. And uh, I don't think I'll buy it now unless I want to buy one for my son. But uh, it looks great nonetheless. I think it looks badass. I think uh, it, it works great as a, ch as a backyard championship or something. So that's really good stuff. If you're interested in collecting the kids' belts or the little plastic belts, those look really, really good. I think you're going to have a whirl with that one. And then finally, guys, we are going to take a look at some packaging here before we get the hell out of here. Um, we do have the packaging here, and it really reminds me of old Jack style, like the TNA style boxes. You got the AEW on the top. You have your viewing window. You got Cody on the left there and a similar font. Cody on the right side. You got Unrivaled Collection on the bottom. You got the back of the packaging there that shows, you know, their signature. You got a move or a, a photo from the match in which they wore the attire. You have uh, Watch AEW Dynamite down in the corner, and then you have the full series there with some, uh, so that, that match is obviously from Double or Nothing with Dustin, and then you have some info about the match, and then you have the rest of the figures in the wave, and uh, that's really cool, man. I really like this packaging. It gives me a real old school nostalgia vibe to it. It doesn't look very boxy. It looks like its own packaging, you know, and it looks it looks really clean. I think it's going to, any any mock collector out there is going to be very happy to own these figures in the packaging. So they look really badass. I really like the way the packaging looks. And then uh, next up, guys, we do have some uh, future figures, and it looks like it's, it's this figure to be dated or to be announced. And you do have, you know, it's a silhouette, clearly, of Kenny Omega, but uh, it does say we're getting another 1 of 500 Rare Edition, and then you have the 1 of 1,000 that is Chase Edition. So you have Chase figures, you have Rare figures in each set. So you have uh, one, I think you have one Rare figure in each set and one Chase in every set. So in Series 1, the Chase is going to be Chris Jericho, and then the Rare is going to be Cody Rhodes in the Gold and Red, and that is what it's looking like for those. So that is pretty cool that we're going to get that moving forward with each set. I think it's really interesting. It makes the series a lot more cool and interesting there. And then also also, you have uh, this little picture I wanted to plug in before we get out of here. You have on your right side, you have a the same people that are making the AEW figures are going to be making UFC figures. And we are getting a Conor McGregor figure, as you can see here, with cloth shorts. And it looks pretty badass, man. I'm not going to lie. I think I want to grab this Conor McGregor just to add to the collection and pose him around with the AEW and WWE figures. Maybe bring him to the pick fed one day. Who the hell knows? But that, that Conor McGregor looks pretty badass. I really like it. So Conor McGregor will be, be picked up from MDT for sure at the store. And then on your left-hand side, you have a closer image of the ring next to the Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks figures there in the ring. And I wanted to plug that in before we got the hell out of here, before you know I ended the video. I wanted to show you guys that little close-up right there before we ended the video. But that is pretty much all of the reveals I believe that we had today. If we have any more, I will definitely put it up to you guys if we have anything like that. But these were some epic reveals. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. And I cannot freaking wait until we uh, get these in hand, man. I, I think this is going to be excellent, man. I, I'm freaking excited. Excited is an understatement. Again, all, all of uh, Series 1 is up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com, guys. Go use the promo code MDTOYS. Save yourselves 10%. Go pre-order the ring. Go pre-order the figures. And freaking get them, man, because they're, they're going to be epic. And I can't wait for them to review them for you guys and check them out. But thank you guys for watching. That is going to do it for today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.